Today I'm going to answer one of your art questions about sealing your graphite and colored pencil work. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Natasha writes, do drawings made with polychromos and paint thinner need a protective layer to prevent smudges? I tend to use hairspray for black pencil drawings. Okay, I know you're not asking about whether or not it's safe to use hairspray, but I've got to bring this up. Stop doing that. This is one of those practices that high school art teachers have a tendency to tell their students is okay to do. Don't. You can't use their, it's a hair product. They're not testing their hair products for archival qualities. They're not testing to find out if it's going to cause the paper to yellow over time. This is just such a bad habit to get in. Do not use hair supplies in anything to do with your artwork. If you want to protect your graphite drawings, Krylon makes some great sprays that are not very expensive. Krylon is way cheaper than the hairspray that I use for my hair and it's made for artwork. So there's just no good reason to be using hairspray to spray your work. Okay, so let's move on to your actual question. No, polychromos do not need a sealer. They're fine on their own. They can still smudge, but you're gonna put them behind glass. Colored pencils should be framed behind glass in almost every case. While I know a couple of artists who do a whole varnishing process that I have no experience with myself and I know their work is protected. For the most part, most of us are going to frame our work. Because I work in polychromos and luminance, I don't end up with a wax bloom problem. I don't put a protective spray on any of my pieces. Now, if you decide that you are more comfortable putting some sort of spray on your work. There are several brands made specifically for colored pencil. The thing is you want to test it first on a piece of paper, whatever type of paper your work is on, test it on that paper with the type of colored pencils you use. Because some of the sprays don't chemically play nicely with some of the colored pencils. I've heard of people having issues, I believe it was with polychromos actually, because again, polychromos doesn't need a spray. But it can mess up your work if you don't test that first and make sure that they're gonna play well together. Now, if you're using Prismacolor, which is prone to having a wax bloom, Prismacolor makes their own spray that you can spray when you're finished and that will prevent that wax bloom from happening. But for polychromos and luminance, I don't use any of those things. I just put them behind glass. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. If you cannot find the answer to the question that you're looking for, there's a link where you can submit your question to be featured in one of these videos. I will have a card pop up here so you can check that out. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, art Q&A videos every Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, all of those social media sites are linked below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys in a couple of days.